Hello, we are speaking with uh, Dr. Anthony Harper, which is a White House lead, lead investigative journalist regarding religious freedom violations and anti-Semitism. What is happening now with the clashes between practicing the freedom of religion versus the corona restrictions, uh, the restrictions on attending synagogues and churches? So how does it work uh, with Yom Kippur? Well, that's a very important issue, but Yom Kippur is a message of repentance that, that is, was, was really echoed here strongly with a lot of evangelicals here and two uh, events called the Return and the Pray Prayer March, uh, both with Jonathan Kahn and Franklin Graham. There was up to be, uh, I heard about up to a half a billion uh, viewers of the Return event, which is on National Re Repentance, uh, a great event, the National Mall here in Washington, D.C., filled with many people, uh, probably uh, probably nearly a couple hundred thousand, I would, I would say, but all filled up. But, you know, as far as the impact on the, on the churches and synagogues, the concern is about those religious freedoms in America that is what makes America so unique, is those religious freedoms to gather. I recently had an interview with Idaho Lieutenant Governor, the state of Idaho Lieutenant Governor said the government has no right whatsoever to intervene with the operation of the church. And she would also say that of the synagogue. No, no uh, right to intervene, whether it's coronavirus or any other issue. We have in the First Amendment in our Constitution about the, the, the freedom to peacefully assemble and also to our religious freedom. And uh, evangelical leaders, specifically Pastor Doctor, uh, Doctor John MacArthur of the Grace Community Church in uh, the Los Angeles area, has made it clear from a biblical perspective, we are mandated by the God of Israel to meet. Uh, secular authority has no uh, authority over God in this matter, and He's given us a command to meet, and we need to do that. So that's that's a main concern for evangelicals uh, in Northern Idaho. Uh, Christians were arrested for having an outdoor church service because they were accused of not being socially distanced. This reminds a lot of evangelicals of communism, uh, the silence of the church. And if America loses its religious freedoms, many are concerned that America will never be great again.